Who's Cam? You've never heard of Cam Lawson, the writer? Who came here? Oh, her. She's coming back today to interview me. She wants to know all about my tragic life. And you're going to let her see this room? Is it really that bad? Stomach turning. Boys, out of the way. Come on. Move your heads. Out of the way. Everybody, camp's here. Oh, you need a hand. Oh. Say cheese. Uh, Justine, right? Um... Louise. It's for the best. He'll only break it. He breaks everything. He's famous for it. How does it work? Show me. No! No way! You're not supposed to be here. It's me you came to see. Tracy! Tell her. We've got an interview, remember? Smile. Tell them to go away. Tell her you don't want us to. Oh, Tracy, Ow! please. Now, Ow! both of you. Now, I have to write an article about life in this place. No, but it's an article about me. But I will need to know about everything that goes on in the home, in your home. So, why don't you girls help me by making a film about life here? A docu soap. <sighs> yeah, but Cam... She'll just spoil it. She spoils everything. She's famous for it. Yeah, I think three will be too many. And um, perhaps it should be Louise and Justine who make the film? <gasps> And I'm afraid, Tracy, you'll have to stay with me so I can interview you one to one. Boring. Well, come on, Jenny won't mind us using her office. It's the best place for a major interview. Oh, no, I hate offices. I prefer to talk to you in your natural habitat. My room! No, can't wait! This is a film about where kids have to live until someone comes to foster them. We call this the dumping ground. Because it's a dump. Jenny's office is really posh. They've got swivel chairs. But... Look, your room will be fine. Well, oh, nice room. Wish I could keep mine as tidy as yours. It's not my room. It's just a room where I've been dumped. If I was fostered, I'd have a real room, which would really be mine. Is that what you want most? No. What I want most is for my mum to come and fetch me, obviously. But until then, you've got to make someone want to foster me. Oh, I'm not sure I'd know how to do that. By writing an article about me, of course. And saying how totally brilliant I am to have around. So come on, we haven't got all day, you know. Yoo-hoo! You're in the movies! Go on. This is Peter. Peter, what do you like most about the dumping ground? The garden. He likes the garden because he's a weed. <laughs> Please be in our movie. You must be. I've got things to do. It will break our hearts. What we need is someone handsome and hunky, just like you. <laughs> <laughs> To write 1,000 words. I'll need a few good ones to describe you. I'm sweet. The real you. The real me. How about nice? Intelligent. Kind. Lively. Obedient. Strong willed. I don't think. Mischievous. Gentle, cuddly, cute. Loud, gutsy, stroppy. No, those are all the wrong words. If you write that, no one will want to foster me. And I'll be stuck here in the dumping ground forever. Oh, 
Well, I'm sure that won't happen. It won't, as long as you write down everything that I tell you to write. Ready? Yay! Tracy is good and kind and gentle, and she's the most popular girl at every single school she's been to. Wherever she goes, she's loved and cherished by everyone. And this is Tracy Beaker, who's new today. Would anybody like to volunteer to look after Tracy? Why aren't you writing all this down? Because really, I should be asking you questions. Why? Well, because that's what journalists do. Ask questions, search the internet, poke their noses into other people's business, turn things into stories. Think you'd be any good at doing that? The best. Totally and utterly brilliant. This is Mike, who never gets embarrassed. <laughs> Louise? This is Adele and her boyfriend, who are in love. <laughs> Oh, is this your mum? Did I mention her in the article? Yeah. But don't say she's coming to fetch me, or no one will want to foster me. Just say, say her career keeps her busy. And what does she do? She's a journalist. Everyone famous is dying to be interviewed by her. But really, I'm the only person that she wants to talk to and write about. This is Tracy, showing off. <laughs> Go away, it's private! <laughs> so immature. Cam, mm -hmm. can a journalist find out anything? Good journalists can. Are you a good journalist? Well, I'm trying to be. You can find out where my mum is. Oh, I don't know about that. This is Maxie, who's bullying Ryan. He couldn't be in our docu soap, even if he begged to be. Buy that camera. I wouldn't be wasting my time making a docu soap. I'm making money. Well, you haven't got it. I have. So how do we make money, then? First. Be nice to Maxie. What good's he gonna be? Ladies, trust me on this. See. Isn't that great? I think the rest of the bunch are in the attic. Why don't you try and find them? So you can talk. Oh, and tell me as soon as you know she's coming. I need time to pack. Tracy. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. This was Tracy's idea, right? Right. But you haven't agreed to do it. Well, I just thought if I found out where she was, I could tell her Tracy's here and that she's doing fine. Tracy's mum knows she's here. If she wants to get in touch with her, all she has to do is pick up the phone. Oh, I see. Maxie, would you be so kind as to carry this for me? cleaned up and sort out your story and it better be good you're 
not going to go and look for her, are you? It would be much more difficult than I thought. You said journalists could find out anything. I said good journalists could. You said that you were. Don't you exaggerate sometimes? You know, say things you know aren't exactly true. You lied. You lied to me. any money. It's obvious, isn't it? We simitate to one of those telly programmes that pay hundreds of pounds for videos of accidents. They'll love it. <laughs> Brilliant. It can't fail. As long as Justine remembered to switch the camera. Just because you'd be that stupid doesn't mean anybody else would be. You did remember to press red button. What red button? No one told me about any red button. Don't waste your time, Zach. You haven't got an accident to send them, thanks to Justine. But we have, and it is thanks to Justine. Look! Just like you! <laughs> both allergic to something. Brows, maybe. I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, well, me and my big mouth making out I can do stuff when really I can't. If you don't want me to write the article, I would understand. Tracy? Yeah, you're right. We do have stacks to get through. We'll be lucky if we get it finished tonight. Maybe we should do lunch. Is next Saturday okay for you? 